Welcome back, uh, everyone. Everyone on the internet and the YouTubes and, and the flips and wherever else you may be watching this. Uh, we are playing Dead Space 2 once again on Let's Drink the Gaming. Uh, yeah. Joining us on this session, we have the full house again. I'm here. Tim is here. And uh, Rachel and Emma are here as well. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hi -oh. All right, so when we last left our our pants-soiled uh, pants hero, Isaac Clark, he was up here in the security guy's office, uh, somehow trying to, uh, to, to get through this door, and the door won't let him in because my name isn't Howard. So now we got to figure out a way to get through. Man, what is with... You also went shopping. Shopping. Or it can be a way to turn yourself into a duck so that the door will let you through. A dachshund? A duck. Oh, a duck. Yeah, well, maybe with Howard, all these birds. The Why are there so many birds oh, in uh, Dead Space? Oh, Howard the duck. You know what's, you know what's interesting? Besides that creepy-ass bat thing that resurrects people, you'd think there'd be, like, other types of animals being transformed Bird into... Bird poop. Aren't there dogs? I don't know, it only uh, seems to be humans. I think you're thinking Resident Evil. Oh, this Evil. bird! This no bird dog. is fine. No, no, no. Well, we, you recorded it, like, way back. There are puppies, remember? And he got cornered, and he had to, like, kill them, you know, 300 style. No, I don't remember that. You really don't remember that? Are you thinking it's not the small children? Or the, no, the babies? No, they're dogs. Huh. I don't know, I believe yeah, it. Yeah, there's, there's no dogs. There totally were dogs. Dude, I'm totally looking at There's no dogs. This bird looks fine. That would be bird so annoying, a little, like, necromorph bird the size of your fist. Like, pecking at you. Alright. So now, how do I pretend to be this guy? Maybe you talk to his digital assistant? Does she know something? Why don't you just drag his lifeless corpse in front of the door? Maybe, yeah. You know, it works, um... That's what they do in those movies, where you gotta be like... Ah, uh, fingerprint ID needed. <laughs> I'm Howard Phillips. Needed. <laughs> I'm Howard Phillips. I like how she's just not talking. She's just sort of staring at you blindly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe that worked. That was just to. A... It's a joke. I didn't think that actually worked. Okay. Uh, well. I'm Howard Phillips. Don't mind me. Oh my god, you actually took something from one room to another and it didn't instantly disappear the moment <laughs> you dropped it. You're special. You should take him with you everywhere. <laughs> you should be your new best buddy. He's a security blanket. But, but you have Howard with you. But I'm Howard Phillips. Don't mind the guy in the uh, armored suit. Uh oh. Oh, you need a verbal... Verbal access code. Alright, make him talk. He has no head. Quick. Go Go Punch him in the gut. Make him go. Or, or I could just do that. Whoa! Oh, like damn it, Isaac! Nice job. Good job. I'm Howard Phillips. I explode things. Oh my yeah. Torso. <gasps> Howard Node. Howard Node. I can't do the high pitched power node. The cold is know. the cold is still holding sway. Where, where does torso go? I don't know. He I think it finally. Oh. oh wait, no, there it is. Ha ha! Yay! Our I, I will forever be oh, Howard don't. Phillips. Come on, Howard. <laughs> you must lead us through the darkness. To the darkness. With your lifeless torso of gooeyness. Uh. Quick, beat it to death with Howard Phillips! I tried, I think Howard knocked his head off, and then I was like, yo. Awesome. You know what you should totally do is use your kinesis and take like the limbs from other necromorphs, like their spiky arms, and just attach them to Howard and make him like a death machine. <laughs> and then get I, the like head off that uh porcupine uh, Howard Phillips. Yeah, I can put this head on him. Then get the head from the Oh goodness, oh no. Uh, 
Oh, dodge. What button? Shoot, shoot red thing. Shoot red thing. Up. Oh. Okay. Or, oh no. Or what? Um. You are okay. Howard Phillips. I'm Howard Phillips. <laughs> How do you? All right. Happen? When that happens, you shoot the red thing above the door to shut the door. I didn't see the red thing. Not try to use your arm. But it, it's above the door frame. You'll see it. Oh, oh, we lost Howard Phillips. Yeah, we didn't restart with him. Oh well. Howard, our only you will friend. be remembered. Drink one for Howard. And the lovely torso that got us through the door. Let's pour one out for our homie, Howard Phillips. I'm gonna take a drink for him. Oh god! Red thing above the door. There we go. Good job. Shoot red thing to not die. Ah, uh, spam E to not die. Uh, oh yeah, meat cello. Ooh, ooh. I always thought that was supposed to be a finishing move. Oh god damn it, explode babies. All right, I think that worked. Freaking exploder babies! It'd be great to pick up one of these little exploder babies, pick it up by the head, snap its neck like you were popping off the pin on a grenade, and then throw it. Oh yeah, but it—that <laughs> might actually work. <laughs> oh, it'd probably explode. Uh. You got help? Yeah. I think I do, yeah. That's cute and not die. Alright, before we move on to the next room, two orders of business. Since this is Let's Drink the Game, we do have to talk about what we are drinking. So, um, Rachel and I here in, in this, uh, this office, we picked up a couple of bottles of Tart of Darkness. Ooh, it's a it's sour. Yeah, it's a sour stout um, from the brewery, I believe in, in San Francisco. Orange County. Orange County. It's a very tart, sour beer. We're going to use the dregs of it uh, for a homebrew sour. Uh, so what are you guys drinking? We have strawberry juice with raspberry vodka. It is quite yummy, although it looks rather like nasty V8. Oh, awesome. Not that, not that V8, is, V8. Not that V8 is, is nasty, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's some sort of strange, very cloudy orange color, and I hate orange, but it's tasty. Very delicious. <laughs> Yummy. Just uh, pretend it's like a Bloody Mary, and, and think you know, convince yourself you're being healthy. Mm. Oh, I should. I love Bloody Marys. Tim doesn't like them though. What do you mean I don't like? I fed you some last time, and you hated it. Last time I made one. I don't remember this. It was not that long ago. It was like under a month ago. <laughs> you don't remember anything. I looked up that video. There are doggies. <laughs> Do totally. Text log story time. Does it matter? Hey, story time. There's a picture of a bird there. I think all the bird magazines were just scattered here from Howard Phillips. Picturing the torso of Howard Phillips skipping along the system, just flinging bird magazines <laughs> everywhere he goes. How does he skip if he doesn't have legs? The same way he whistles. The, the same way he bleeds bird magazines. He whistles? Yes. Attention. He whistles Watchman like a bird. Unauthorized engagement of access detected. Please respond. Oh, shut up. Arg. Yes, the meat cello again. I get to talk about it. They actually did a contest. Contest? Pro uh, during the, the Dead Space 2 beta period. Yep. Um, prior to the release of the final game...
where they ask people to uh, to design like comic strips or videos or you know, animated descriptions of death sequences and kill sequences for Isaac and the Necromorphs, and there was the guy who won practiced with like this stuffed pillow thing of a necromorph. And he's like, oh, and he made this little flash video. You can find it on YouTube if you look up, like, the original Meat Cello. Because that's what the, the thing is called. About, like, if he was Isaac and he was attacked by this big floppy thing, what would he do? And, like, how would he, uh, how would we get this thing off of him and kill it? So that was very cool. That was... That animation was fan-made. Great to see devs do that. So basically they got fans to do their job for them. It's called crowdsourcing. It also allows for a greater degree of creativity. With more minds coming up with different ideas. Isaac, I think there's something stuck. It's just jiggling. Jiggles! This is, this is my new knee. Is, is, is it, it climbing up your knee? I think, I think it's, it's just stuck on my knee. Probably when you come out of the bench, it'll be your new crotch. All right. Now, are you going to work on your rig towards getting a bigger health upgrade? <laughs> Maybe I, I should. I'm telling you to do this. Because maybe you won't die. We're working over towards that health upgrade. Yeah, 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 I'll just put them both in there. Yes, mother. Alright, I am declaring that time of the show. I'm gonna warm up the breathalyzer and, uh, see where we stand early on. No, wait, that was dumb. You just wanted to ride the elevator again, dude. Mommy, I want to ride the ride! It goes up and down, up and down. How do I go that? Oh. It's stasis time. Medic grip time. She's gone from suck to blow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my uh, my like early a bad thing. <laughs> my early on reading here is a point oh four. Understand that even if you survive long enough to restore power, there is no escape. All routes in and out of government center are being monitored. Give up, car. All right, this is last name. <laughs> I was confused. Probably save the ammunition by throwing something from downstairs up into the laser beam. Can you reach anything from down there up here? I've got body parts. Or, oh yeah, cool. a limb. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Damn it! It's no power. <laughs> Get back here. Good job. Good job. Is there any other right. random body parts? There you go. How about go. this whole body? Whoa, that came back. <laughs> Woo! Field goal. Stop for loot. Alright, I'm gonna go loot these closets here. Okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> what just happened? I don't like this right. level. Like this. Surprise, butt sex. <laughs> I don't know, but if you were playing Daisy, you would have broken your leg. If I was playing Daisy and I got too close to a wall, I would have broken my legs. That's true. Like that guy. I can't. I broke his legs. Yeah, right. but I think that was because he got too close to your gun. <laughs> Guns don't break legs. People break legs. <laughs> People break legs with guns. 
All right, I think I'm going to use this convenient save point here to uh, to adjourn for the episode. Um, hope you enjoyed this installment of Let's Drink to Dead Space 2. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Peace out, Internet. Cheers. Peace. Cheers. 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 <laughs>